I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is September 24th, 2017. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to open, uh, how to fix Windows 10 so Excel files are open in their own windows. Okay, here's the problem. So uh, if you open up an Excel file, and by the way, I'm using Excel 2010, so, but this should apply to the newer, newer version of Excel, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, if I open up one, it opens up just fine, what I expect. But then if I go and open up the next one, what happens is it does not open a new window, but it opens a new window within Excel. So if I go over here and click on this, you'll see that uh, both of these guys, number one and number two, are in the same program. And what I want to do is have two Excel programs running so I can go back and forth and put them on different screens. As is, they're just all on one thing. and It's really annoying. Uh, so to fix that, you have to do some regedit fixes. So I'll run, I'll go through them right now. It's pretty easy. So what you do is come down here and search for regedit and run the regedit command. And then this fun guy, pop. Oh, I got another screen. Yeah, this guy should pop up. And what you do is you have to go to H key classes root. That's where you start, open that guy up and then scroll all the way down here until you see a bunch of Excels too far there we go and down here depending on what you're doing you have to fix a few so one thing you have to there are different versions so i'll fix i'll fix excel.csv that's how it deals with csv files because i open those a lot and then also excel sheet 12 which i think is a 2010 version i'm not sure uh, but those are the ones i mainly open and so what i need to do is i need to go in there and change the command so you go down there so i'll do the csv first so csv open up the shell open open uh, go to this DDX here, right click it and rename. I think you can delete it, but I just rename it just to get out of the way. Also as a reference for me when I have to come back and do this again. And, and that's a note. Sometimes, at least in Windows 7, and it's recently switched over to Windows 10. In Windows 7, just about every third or fourth update you got, they would redo the registry and re remove these changes. And then I'd have to go back and fix them again because my Excel would start working the way it used to. Anyway, uh, so I just renamed that and then go to command and there's this command right here too and rename it just to get out of the way. And here, click on this default, right click and click modify. And then rather than DDE, we do E, oops, E, and then double quotes, uh, percentage one, double quotes. And that's it. That's all you got to do. And I'm going to do the same thing to Excel sheet 12. Go down here to open and I will rename that command to two just to get out of the way. And then click on command and here I will rename this one to two to get out of the way. And then I will modify this one. E percentage, oops, sorry. E uh, percentage one. Simple as that. But that only covers two types of files, CSV files and XLSX files, I believe. And so if there's some other files you need to do, like there's a, just an Excel sheet, Excel sheet five, Excel sheet eight, which I never open. But if you do, you may have to change those as well. So having done that, we should be good now. So let me close this and open up number one. Make it big here. I'll put this guy here and open number two. Full size. And look, I have two. So now I got exactly what I want. And if I want to open a third one too, I can open a third one that just every single, every single time it'll open up a new window. And that's exactly what I want. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username PatmanDenver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.